Okay, so I wanted to briefly talk about why I am here at the Goodwill making a donation. You saw all those boxes. So if you know, I was trying to make Everford pullover fleece jackets, quarter zip, very preppy, very nice. I had samples of them, they were great. I ordered these back in March. I fully paid for these back in March. <laughs> and I got them in July and they were different from my, they were different from the sample. They were a little bit too, like the measurements were off. Uh, like the mediums, like the, the arm length came down like your knuckle. It was a little baggy. It was just not what I wanted. It was not what the samples were. It was not what we agreed on. I went with the new supplier because I didn't want my t-shirts to get held up for delays because they're making more of the same thing. So I was like, oh, I'll go with the new supplier. Uh, I got some bad vibes. The communication was poor and I just still went with it and I paid them and I got all the product. It wasn't right. I tried contacting them. But when they're that far away, they can just straight up stop talking to you. <laughs> so that's the, the risk you take in business or in life or in anything when you, you know, you try a new venture and you don't really know what you're getting yourself into and you kind of go through a new person or a new supplier in the apparel world and you get burned sometimes. So what I decided to do, um, instead of, because I, it's not 100%, like they're good, but they're not 100% satisfaction of what I wanted, they're not what I wanted to put my name behind. So instead of like throwing them away, instead of trying to sell them at a discounted rate, just like letting you know what the issue is, uh, I decided it'd be better to donate them. Uh, so I'm donating all of them, 100% of them. They were brand new, they were all wrapped up. I think it'll be great. And I think it's a, it's the taking a bad situation and kind of making it good and making the best out of a bad situation and giving them to people who will be able to use them for warmth in the cold season. And I think it'll be great. And I will try again. Uh, maybe in the future <laughs> with maybe my shirt supplier who's really good to make these fleeces or something but uh, it's a learning experience it sucks it's a lot of money but these things happen unfortunately it's a risk you take but uh, we're, we're doing some good out of a bad situation I'm happy so ever forward guys Hey, what's going on? Welcome to this part of the video where there's gonna be like lifting and stuffs. So I'm home from work and I'm ready for some pre-workout food. We're not gonna go to the gym for another like hour and a half-ish. So I got some spaghetti. Let me know if this is weird. Some people say it's weird, but I think that milk is the best thing to go along with pasta, specifically spaghetti. I love spaghetti so, so much. This is delicious. But yeah, is that weird? I don't think it's weird. I've always drank milk as a kid with this, just got strong bones and stuff. So the computer setup that I've been wanting is finally finished, at least I think. The only thing I could really upgrade is like maybe some 4K monitors, but we have the nice computer that can handle everything I can throw at it and more. We have the dual monitor set up. We have a new K70 Corsair mechanical keyboard. We have a new Logitech G502 mouse. And then we also have some Logitech Z623 speaker systems sub down there. Those The speakers sound awesome. Absolutely amazing. They're not that expensive. Um, and these are my old Logitech speakers that I use for when I go to sleep. I've had these literally since like the ninth grade, okay? Um, so I'm very, very happy with my computer setup and it's important because I do everything on the computer. Everything, okay? I need to have the best stuff at my fingertips, literally, because it's gonna help me be the most effective at what I'm doing, help me do it faster, better, um, do cooler things, and do it in a more efficient manner. So invest in yourself. Um, that is why I have literally a crazy good setup for what I do. It's important to me, and I'm very, very happy. So we're gonna head to the gym, and we're gonna do some lifting and stuff. <sighs> why my heart rate so high?
Okay, so now we are gonna go for 335 pounds, which will be a, a five pound attempt of a PR from the last time that I've done this. This will be the heaviest that I've ever gone with a slingshot. Easy. So that was a grinder, 335 pounds, and you'll notice the past two maximum effort bench days, I've not gotten any assistance in the liftoff department. That's because Gabe, who usually gives me all the really effective, good quality liftoffs that are not sketchy or anything like that, it's not been in here. So I don't know if you quit lifting or something, but uh, anyway, I've just been like lifting off myself and I didn't use any wrist wraps, which is good. Um, so 335 pounds, a success, five pound increase, happy with it. Now my, my close grip slingshot was only 325, so again, very neck and neck, progress, progress, 3, 325, very happy with it. Um, you'll notice I started trembling a little bit, and the pain that I felt afterwards, because sometimes if you arch too much, and you're tightening your back up so much on the bench, it's happened to me in competition before, that at the top, like once you re-rack it, and all the pressure kind of like de decompresses from your body, it like tightens your back up so much, and it puts a huge strain in your lower back. So, <laughs> I, I felt more lower back pain right after a lift on a bench than I have a, de than I have a deadlift. So maybe lessen my arch a little bit, but 335, very, very happy. Woo! Um, again, I use the conjugate system or style of programming as pretty much the main structure of how I lift. Um, I'll vary it a little bit every now and then, but overall it's pretty standard and straightforward. Um, you know what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna link in the description Mastetics, who I did, who I'm very good friends with, I did the collab with, uh, and they did my programming for a long time until I got a really good understanding of how it works. And it's pretty simple once you get an understanding of it. I'm gonna link one video in the description, okay? But in that video is a playlist of a really good explanation of conjugate system training. It's a four video series, so bookmark it, favorite it, save it, whatever you need to do. I'm gonna link the first video and then you can watch all the other three and you'll have a really good understanding or it might confuse you some more. Why am I shaking this water? But I'm gonna finish out these tricep movements and then I'm gonna head on out of now. Deuces. As always, just finishing out my workout with some tricep volume, really on either my maximum effort days or my dynamic days. Obviously the dynamic days, I will throw in some shoulder volume, but really just always doing tricep work because again, working on that lockout strength. And in order to do that, also I wanted to just strengthen and grow my triceps. So these were like four sets of 15. I did AMRAP dips after this. And before the movement you're seeing, before these extensions or the press downs, I did four sets of 15 on the close grip dumbbell press with the 70 pound dumbbells so a lot of volume after my maximum effort feeling strong can't wait to uh to finally test out the bench max not sure when i'm doing that i'm not really planning on a specific time because again just keep getting stronger and your numbers will go up so uh thank you guys and enjoy 947 leaving the gym now this is normally when i leave and the gym closes at 10 so i have to be out by then um, so i get here right around eight o'clock so that's how long it takes me to do a maximum effort bench and film and think of like topics, what I have to talk about. It's cool that the gym allows me to wear no pants. <laughs> it's a camo joke. These are actually the new Ape Athletics camo joggers. Well, they're not, well, they're, they're joggers, but they're not like the other ones. These are like a poly material. So they're a little thinner. They're a lot more stretchy. Stretchy pants, I love them. I wear a medium in these bad boys and I think these are launching in January at some point. So headed home to like edit some of this video and shower and whatnot. All right, rain, my favorite. I will tell you what's annoying is Virginia weather. On Christmas, it was 72 degrees, like t-shirt weather, 
Now, two days later, it is 46 degrees and raining, which is annoying because it's not cold enough. Like, this is, this could be snow if it was colder, obviously, but uh, it's just annoying cold-ass rain. Like, dumb. <sighs> See you guys. Also, just to keep you updated, um, someone asked if I'm still donating uh, money to charity. This is my charity of choice, ALS, because of my dad. Um, so, absolutely, of course. So, this is what we're donating right now. Um, this would not be possible without your guys' support. So, I thank you so much for this. Ever forward, guys.